For the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. For the sign of Aquarius, what is the overall love energy for the sign of Aquarius? Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. <clears throat> and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Three of Pentacles. And it's with this Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Pentacles is actually a very positive card. In the tarot, especially when it comes to work and career questions, but it's actually a good overall card in the deck. It indicates that you're doing well. This Three of Pentacles that tells you that the people around you. They appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of what you do, even if you're not getting paid. The Three of Pentacles. It actually tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. Now it's with the Six of Swords, which indicates some type of movement. Maybe metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better. Whether the context is internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. This Six of Swords, it shows at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. So things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is going to be helpful. <coughs> And just know that this does not have to cost money. So Aquarius, Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Swords for the recent past energy between you and your person. So the message that I'm getting is that, yeah, you're dealing with someone that Someone that liked you. Someone likes you. Or someone wanted to be with you. Somebody has emotions for you. Show with this Three of Pentacles because they're trying to impress you. Because if you look at the Three of Pentacles, it's a card above the word pass. You see how this man, he's showing these two people what he's doing. For a living or what he's making or showing them uh, something and they're impressed they're looking up like wow so your person wants you to be impressed by something that they're doing or showing you your person is trying was trying to impress you because this, this is the recent past energy but it looks like it didn't work. <clears throat> no, nope, you were not impressed. So, the Six of Swords is showing that you probably friend zoned them. You put them in the friend zone. You were not impressed. And I say this because if you look at the Six of Swords, the card below the word pass, I'm just looking at their body language. They're not even facing each other, and they could be, yeah, they, she could turn around and he could seem more 
interested. But he's focusing on trying to get from one spot, from one destination to the next. And she's looking in her computer at the work that she's got planned for the week coming ahead. And they're about maybe six or seven feet apart. So yeah, somebody was very, a person was very interested in you trying to get your attention in some kind of way, but it didn't work and you, you put them in the friend zone. Yeah. Six of Swords can be about coming out of raging waters and now all of a sudden you're in calmer waters. And that's what they're doing in this boat. They just got out of the storm. And but now they're it's just sail smooth they're so smooth sailing. They're at peace. And they have moved into calmer waters. So there's no fight, but there's no interest either. No interest. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the lover's card, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's with the tower. Well, don't be so scared when you see the tower. Because the good thing about the tower is that whenever you get a tower moment, you're always enlightened by the disaster. But let's see. We'll start with the lover's card coming up. Now, when you get the lover's card, it's actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the Twins. So it's possible when this card appears, that you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Because some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. But it's indicating when you can choose love. It's saying it's safe to choose love because it's this will be a time when um, love is brought to you in big bold capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Yeah, either way, you'll be quite happy about how well romance is going. Now, like I said, it's with this tower. The tower can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo. You have to roll with the changes because it's likely that some people, maybe situations that you have counted on as being there may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this does not have to be drastic because we all know that change, it's the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Keep in mind that's only a problem if you let it be because you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart at this time. Just know that dreaming is important but it's also important to be living in a reality. So, coming up, lovers clarified by 
the tower. So like I said, your person, they have emotions for you. They tried to impress you, but that was, it wasn't working for you. They, this person actually sees you as someone that they got deep emotions for. They could think that you're their soulmate. They could feel like they have a deep connection to you. Yeah, they could have really strong emotions for you. Because the lover's card, it can be, it can be about falling in love. Yeah, it's a coming together. It's a union. It's the strength of two. So, this person might have thought you were their soulmate or maybe a twin flame. So, they're kind of taken back by, by, um, you putting them in the friend zone. And, wow, they're probably really surprised that it's, it's starting to feel like it's, the connection is, it's falling apart in their, in their head. They're starting to feel like it's, it's not going to make it. It's not going to get to where they wanted it to be with you. They're starting to feel like it's just, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I'm getting that you're breaking somebody's heart, Aquarius. Because they feel that you were the one for them. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to bring. So we got the Five of Pentacles. And it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles can point to a time when life could start to feel less than secure. Now the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen so you may start to feel alone but you have the capacity to change that so reach out you could feel like you're being left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering but just realize that this is not the case do the best you can with what you have but remember The wise thing to do is, if you need help, is to go out and ask for it. Because the help that you need, it will come. Now, Five of Pentacles is with Queen of Pentacles, which is a card that indicates you could be spending time and money and energy on your home or at home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. Because people may be looking to you for insight or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This can be a time period when you get a lot accomplished. So Five of Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Pentacles for the challenge. Yeah, like I said, your person is realizing that, yeah, it's a, it's a flop. Their attempt was a flop. It's falling apart right in front of their face. So, they can start to feel the connection is no longer secure in any kind of way. Yeah, this Five of Pentacles, it's not a happy indicator when it comes to relationships or love questions. 
this person might start to feel like you're tr you're not treating them the way that they would like for you to. So it looks like they, yeah, they're starting to feel, yeah, they're not happy, put it that way. Five of Pentacles is not, it's not being not, it's, Five of Pentacles is being not happy. They feel left out by you, Aquarius. So, you could decide to just fall back or maybe... They're falling back, because that's what the Queen of Pentacles does. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Emperor, and it's with the Ace of Swords. Now, the Emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed, and that's... What we need to think about when this card appears in a reading because when hard choices have to be made it's important to maintain your concentration and your focus well the emperor signals this but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it to make you'll find it easier to make hard choices so enjoy the assertiveness Enjoy the confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Yeah, forge ahead. Do what you know is best because if you can master yourself, then you'll have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So you're probably asking, well, what does that mean? Well, that means that the Emperor is the type that only uses his head and not his heart. So it's easier to make hard choices. But it's with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords can indicate some type of new beginning. And it's possible that the new beginnings are on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning, it can be started by a separation. Maybe a separation from a relationship, a job, or a situation. But just know that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually really good beneficial energy. That's getting you to a place where you need to be or where you're wanting to go. So your outcome, Emperor clarified by this Ace of Swords. So yeah, like I said, your person's not happy. They're watching this fall apart right in front of their eyes. Yep. They're seeing that you're not impressed with them. And they feel left out in the cold by you. So, I'm getting that. Mm, from now on, they'll probably just, tr they'll probably shut down on you. They'll go cold. Like, the Emperor is very cold energy. There, it looks like they could be deciding not to open their heart to you any longer they see that you put them in the friend zone so they're shutting down or at least they're gonna try to yeah you probably start to realize that you need to cut this person out because you might realize or see that you're you're hurting them so the way you might handle it is trying to distance yourself or cut them out of your life yeah it looks like you could be looking for a new beginning and this you're just not impressed by this person so Aquarius that's the reading that I have for you I hope you enjoy the reading I hope it resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone 
And again, if you like the reading, please comment. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. <clears throat> What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we're going to get through this. Stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles can be switched. Yes, they can. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, maybe even a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates because like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I can never say that enough. I hope to see you at the next reading, the next reading, the next reading. <laughs>